Hello and welcome to another What's Inside. Today we're looking at I've Got a Bad Feeling About This. This is a Star Wars card game, ages 12 and up, 2 to 6 players. I'm sorry, 2 to 8 players. Put out by Hasbro Gaming in 2017. Retailed for about 15 bucks originally. You could probably find it a little cheaper than that now, but I'd be prepared to end up paying about 15 bucks for it because it is a Star Wars game and despite the negative attention from the new movies Star Wars is still pretty popular and it looks like it takes place with the older characters so this is a card game with 63 cards and game rules so let's take a look inside and see what we have in store so this is obviously a comical game it's not meant to be taken seriously the art should kind of tell you that it's supposed to be kind of silly so it probably will appeal to some normies that aren't really into Star Wars stuff, but if you're a diehard Star Wars fan, this might annoy you a little bit. So let's take a look at what we've got in here. Two to eight players is a pretty big uh, group, so this might be a good party game. The art is a bit silly. Um, this shininess will probably wear off over time. I would be a little attentive to that if you're looking to um, you pick this up used. But with 63 cards, we should be able to uh, tell if it's all here fairly quickly if you buy it used. This is an Outwit and Outlast game, so it should be pretty simple. Uh, different types of cards. Rule sheet's okay. Um, I don't like these fold ones. Just put a staple in it. Spend the extra cent. But it's, it's glossy, that's about the only thing there. Uh, there's a tactics sheet here. It's just a card stock piece, different ideas on tactics. And then we've got our cards. Inside is a little image of the trash compactor scene. Nothing hiding underneath. But this is actually a pretty decent setup. I like that it's for, because it does have double insert it is pretty sturdy so we'll take a look at our cards and see what we've got some real cheap cellophane all right, so there's the back of the cards. Sorry about the glare. Well, there's not much I can do about that. All right, it does have a 2017 copyright with Hasbro's name at the bottom, so don't buy the counterfeit one, I guess. Uh, the cards are not numbered, so you'll just have to count them out. So f we've got a force shield. Dump the cargo backwards trust the force never tell me the odds Jedi mind trick force vision scrambled circuits carbon freeze the chosen one it's 100% definitely a trap Hope you weren't too attack, attached, rather. Another force shield. Dump the cargo. Backwards. Trust the force. Never tell me the odds. Jedi mind trick. Force vision. Scrambled circuits. Carbon freeze. Chosen one. It's 100% definitely a trap. Hope you weren't too attached. Force shield. Then we're back to dump the cargo. Backwards. Trust the force.
All right, so there's four sets of cards. Now we get into one that's different. No, you blew up the Death Star. No, you missed again. No, you shot last. No, you fell into the Sarlacc pit. No, you're a little short. That was kind of cute. No, you lost the Millennium Falcon. No, you kissed your sister. <laughs> That's funny too. And then we have some blue cards that are Escape Fear the Worst. Escape Arm Straight. Escape Talk Strange. Escape Go High Pitched. Escape Breathe Heavy. That's a joke younger people won't get. Escape Sound the Alarm. Escape Hug It Out. And lastly, Escape Lose a Hand. Now, this was the last card in the set. You'll notice there's a serial number here. I don't know what those mean, but it's probably some sort of internal control thing. But it's supposed to be there, so. That is the 63 card deck. The cards are pretty nice. The coating feels okay. They have about the same uh, thickness as a good trading card should have for like a CCG. So I'm actually kind of impressed. There's a lot of different art in here. Even though most of the black cards are repetitive, there is a nice variation in the art. And the art style isn't for me. I think it's a little too cheesy looking for the most part. Some of them are pretty funny, but not real spectacular. I've seen worse though. So yeah, decent little set. So that's what's inside the Star Wars I've Got a Bad Feeling About This card game from Hasbro. Circa 2017, 2 to 8 players, ages 12 and up. It's not a bad set as far as card quality goes. The variants of images is pretty good. I don't like the art style, but that's my particular taste that's very subjective. Uh, the variation of the cards is only 63 cards, so it should be easy to check to see if they're all there if you're picking it up used. But, not a bad little set. So, if you're a diehard Star Wars fan, this is definitely going to appeal to you. Uh, as far as card play goes, it looks like it's got enough variants there that it'll probably be okay. Uh, I don't think it'd be too bad, but it really comes down to whether or not you like the game style of the card game, or if you like the art. I think it's okay, though. Is it worth 15 bucks? I'd be more comfortable with 10 I don't think the cards are that high of quality that they're worth 15 So if you could pick it up for less than 10 bucks and you're a diehard Star Wars fan and a completionist, I would say yeah, it's definitely a completionist item. Casual player, probably not going to get much more than 10 bucks worth of play out of it. The younger people might like it a little more than the older people do too. But it is an outwit game, so if you're really a competitive person, this might be up your alley too. But it's definitely aimed more at normies and less at diehard uh, game players and card game players. If you're real into magic, this is probably way below you. So if, if you have a lot of friends that are casuals, this is going to be something they will play with you though. So I would look at it as a party game as opposed to a game for diehard gamers. So that being said, that's going to do it for me. Thank you so much for listening and supporting the channel. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button and consider subscribing so you don't miss future reviews and unboxings. If you want to help the channel in other ways, links are in the description and on the about page. And as always, we hope to see you on the next one.